My man's taking an easy way out. Punch on Wilder, gain some match fitness, and that, that that's the optimist in me. So I guess after Wilder, <laughs> we might try to explore this undisputed situation again, but it's not gonna be that simple. It's definitely not gonna be that simple. We still got Dylan Lurkin, who is rightfully owed the shot. They've got to take care of that Dylan situation. At least the the WBO has been taken care of with the Usyk fight, which I'm going to get onto in a second. This Wilder voluntary fight, well, the Fury Wilder free fight, the voluntary Fury is taken. It's just an unneeded speed bump on the road to undisputed because I don't think we're going to come out on the other side unscathed. Like I just mentioned, we've got, we've got Dylan lurking. Who knows, Wilder might just knock Fury the hell out and then where do we go from it? Where do we go from there? What do we do? We know Wilder's not coming to the table to negotiate. That's we've been there before. We've been down this road how many times? So another factor that might affect the fight taking place. Who knows? Usyk might just knock Asia the hell out. That 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 could happen. I'd be shocked. I don't see that happening. But you know, who knows? You see how difficult the previous negotiations were with the the lying and the the deceit. How, how do you trust these guys to go back and it's going to be quite awkward and difficult to to trust these guys again and go back to the table with an open mind see our team aj said they didn't have a plan b the first time i'm sure when they return to the table they definitely will have a plan b there <laughs> this time whenever that is if it's in the winter or wherever 2022 2023 music aj is for now i guess so i don't see how how Usyk goes about beating AJ. I don't see it. Usyk was getting outboxed by Tony Bellew for several rounds. He got given a run for his money by Chisora. We've seen it. So, well, the Chizora, um the Bellew fight was at Cruiserweight, so I guess that doesn't necessarily count. But um, Bellew just came down from heavyweight anyway, so that must have just been at heavyweight to begin with. Bellew gassed, which was probably related to the fact that he, he had to cut down weight to make the cruiserweight limit. But before he gassed out, he was putting hands on, on Usyk. He was actually outboxing him, surprisingly, for several rounds. Usyk did win some rounds, but from what I recall, but the first the first um, half of the fight was mainly Bellew through boxing and Usyk just does not punch hard enough he's got volume he's got volume on his side he's, he throws a lot of shots but there's not a lot, a lot of sting on those shots it's just pity pat shots you're not gonna get Joshua off you with pity pat shots I don't I don't see how he gets Joshua's respect with those shots the knockout he scored against Belly was down to fatigue Moved up to heavyweight, fought Witherspoon, and he struggled. Witherspoon was catching him with several shots in that fight, but in typical Usyk fashion, he wore him down and Witherspoon quit in the corner or his corner pulled him out, whatever you want to call it. For me, that fight told me all I needed to know about Usyk in the heavyweight division because Witherspoon is not even one of the bigger boys. He's about 6'3", 6'4", if that. And yeah, the strength Usyk struggled with early on and... Yeah, yeah, he kind of just waited for some of that flame to die out and then he pounced on Witherspoon relentlessly until Yo, he my stopped and got him out of there. So the aesthetic of the, well, onto the Chizora fight before we get to the AJ fight. Chizora was troubling him, especially when, when he turned southpaw and he was, was poking his head with a with a right southpaw jab. And yes, Usyk's got quick feet, but... Earlier on, Chizora was catching up to him and he was mauling him in there. Chizora gets into the habit of just following people around the ring, which is what he did for the most part. I think someone with a bit more skills, a bit more boxing skills, can really make it difficult for Usyk in there, especially with the strength, which he clearly was struggling with whenever they got close. So he just chooses to stay away, which is what he's going to try do against AJ. He's going to keep backing up, lateral movement, poking away. Pity pat shots, trying to catch him on the way in, lateral movement, and that's about it. Which is incredible. That like, I mean, the guy can slip slide shots while throwing combinations at the same time. He's just a master boxer, really. But AJ don't want to see any of that. You don't want to let any of that beautiful boxing take place. Just get in this guy's business and maul him, cut the ring off, 
don't have none of that and show your strength and impose your will on this guy and i'm sure aj breaks this guy at some point in the fight i'm not sure late mid rounds early i'm not sure how positive aj gets to this guy at some point what do you guys make of u6 chance anyways you think it's a more difficult fight than the luke fury fight or is it an easier fight do you think Usyk can stop AJ? Do you think he boxes his head off? Do you think it's a mismatch? Listen, I don't necessarily feel it's an easy fight, but I at the same time feel it's an easy fight because I don't see how AJ loses it, but that's just me. Even if it goes to the judges, I still see AJ getting the decision right for your soul too. I'd be shocked if the guy that struggled with Chaz Witherspoon manages to knock out AJ or get a points decision over AJ in Wembley that would be a surprise <laughs> yeah I don't see that happening Usyk just doesn't punch hard enough and AJ is too big too strong simple as that thoughts in the comment section below drop a like on your way out or rewatch the video whatever subscribe if you're new slap up the notification bell twitter question marks uk I'm out <laughs>